What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. Today I thought it'd be kind of fun to react to some famous shark photos that always seem to go viral across the social media channels. I'm going to show you the photos which are all fake by the way and explain to you how and why they are fake. I'll also give you some tips and tricks on how you can spot the difference between fake and real photos to make sure that you're not fooled in the future. Right, let's check them out. <laughs> Okay, so this is probably one of the most infamous fake shark photos there is around and I actually think it's one of the first viral shark photos to do the rounds online. So it appears to show a big old great white shark here launching out of the water and lunging for this guy hanging out of a Black Hawk helicopter. It did the rounds as part of an email chain back in 2001 that was claiming it had won the National Geographic Photo of the Year award. <laughs> So I'd hope that most of you would be able to clock on pretty quickly that this one is definitely fake. <laughs> this is obviously two photos that have been stitched together. The first of which is a military helicopter drill taking place in front of the Golden Gate Bridge. And then the second is this awfully grainy picture of a great white shark jumping out of the water somewhere around False Bay in South Africa. Although the photo actually oddly reminds me of that classic Batman clip where the shark is like attached to the ladder and is having a right good old chomp on Batman before he sprays it with the anti-shark spray. <laughs> what a classic. <laughs> okay, next up, we've got this pretty fun picture of sharks seemingly swimming around in a flooded building at the bottom of these escalators. So I think the original claim was that this photo was taken in the Q8 scientific center, which actually does have a big shark tank. They'd said the tank had collapsed and then all the sharks were swimming freely around the scientific center. Actually kind of sounds like that'd be a really fun shark movie. <laughs> Anyway, the picture popped up again around the time of Hurricane Sandy, which was back in 2012, I think. And then people started to really question the validity of the photo. So again, it's a pretty dodgy Photoshop here. The original background image was actually taken from Toronto Union Station when it flooded with rainwater and sewage. Sharks generally don't like swimming around in sewage, but saying that, scientists recently found sharks living in the Thames, which is a pretty grim sewagey water source. So if you wanted to learn a little bit more about that, you can click this link here because we did a video on it. Okay. This next one is actually half decent at first glance. I remember this one going viral back in 2016 and my initial thought was this guy is in real trouble. So it stems from somewhere in Australia and I can tell you it is actually a real great white shark. Although one of the biggest giveaways that this photo isn't all that it seems is that you can't really see any water movement around the head of that great white shark. If the white was coming out of the water like that, it would be doing it with some level of force. So the water would be breaking a little bit around the head. In reality, sadly, this is a dead great white shark that had become entangled in some fishing line that was growing abalone. And the fact that it's a dead shark actually does explain why there's no splash from it breaching the surface because the guy is literally just lifting the nose of the shark out of the water. Okay, wait a minute. How's this one got in here? <laughs> <laughs> this one is actually so bad, I'm, I'm not even going to talk you through it. Get it off the screen. <laughs> ah, here we go. This old chestnut. So you've probably seen this one before, which seems to show a shark swimming down a flooded freeway. This one has appeared so many times in the past, most notably after Hurricane Irene in 2011, Hurricane Sandy in 2012, and then Hurricane Matthew in 2016. I swear you literally see this photo after every single major tropical storm event or flash flooding. <laughs> So this one actually stems from a flooded road in Puerto Rico and someone has photoshopped in a very famous great white shark picture. The original picture is actually this one, which believe it or not, is actually a real great white shark following a kayaker. The photo was taken by photographer Thomas Peshak in South Africa back in the early 2000s and what a photo it is. <laughs> okay, next up we've got this breaching shark and Actually, I take it back. I think this is probably one of the most famous shark photos out there. It's actually not half bad, and I'm pretty sure this photo was virally trending on Facebook back in 2016. It was supposedly taken by Chief National Geographic photographer Bob Burton and had won numerous Nat Geo photo awards. The problem is there's no such person at Nat Geo as Bob Burton. <laughs> Also, if we look a little closer into the image here, we can see something's up with the shark's snout and mouth. And it turns out this photo is not actually a photo at all, but it's actually a 3D graphic of a great white shark that was created by a Russian graphics artist. It's not half bad though, so I'll give him that. So there we have it, guys. Those are some of the most famous shark viral photos that exist on the internet today. Now for some tips on how to spot that these photos are definitely fake. Most of the images that we've seen today are composite images, which is where two photos have been stitched together. 
If this is the case, then you'll often be able to find one or both of the photos kicking around on Google Images. If you can also identify the shark in the image, then you can Google that species and it's likely that you'll find the original photo of that shark. You can also go and check out popular hoax busting sites like Snopes.com where they investigate fake pictures for you and they're pretty good at it too. But the main thing is to just use your own head. Most of the images just aren't logical, especially from a shark behavior perspective. So which one of those images was your favorite and which one did you find most convincing? I wanna hear all your thoughts in the comments below. Mine is definitely the guy that's grabbing the nose of the great white shark purely because that is a real shark in the picture. So it is the most convincing for me. Also, if you wanna see me do another Shark Bites episode like this, but for fake shark viral videos instead of photos, then let me know in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.